In the previous lesson in this chapter, we created this awesome video, and we have to save this thing. Now, we haven't saved it yet. Now, if you don't have it, that's fine. We're just going to go through the process of saving a file. And you can do that by clicking the button up here. You can go to the word File and go down to Save Here, or you can press Control S or Command S on a Mac. Same keys, different names. If we do that, we get the questions. Number one, what is the name? about kids on bikes. Where do I want it? Now this to me is an important thing. I like to save it in its own folder and I'll explain in a second why that's important. So I'm going to do this. Click new folder on my desktop. We'll call it kids and bikes. Why not? So we got kids on bikes is the name of the file. Kids and bikes is the name of the folder. I don't know how smart that is but we'll go ahead and do that. Okay here it is. Now your option for file format is only one. Go ahead and click Save down here. Okay, so we've saved the project. Now let me go ahead and close it down for a second. Here's Kids and Bikes. If I open it up, now notice it's the only thing in there. Okay, that's fine then. Let me open it again. Start working on it. Do something. Go into the assets. Maybe bring down this audio right here. Doesn't make sense, I know, but just do something like that. Do some edits. Change things around. Okay, something like that. Save it again. Now this time I'll just click the button up here. And let me go ahead and close it. Notice now we even have something called a log. Now what log shows us is everything that's been done to that particular project. So here's what I like to do. As soon as I open up a new project, before I have done literally anything, I'm not moving things in from organizer or files, I'm not capturing video, I stop and I save it. Now the reason I wanted to show you that second save is basically because you don't get most of the stuff until you've at least saved it and closed it and reopened it. And then the log starts. So if you work a long time on the file and basically don't save it, which I don't know, we've all done that, it's no big deal, you're not going to have that log. But if you do it right up front, you will. Now I use that log for two reasons. One, it's an accurate representation of what I've done to that project, so it's nice to know what you did. It's not as detailed as the logs that come with, say, Photoshop, the history logs, but it's there. But another reason I use this is as an insert to my client as part of the billing record. Now, they probably won't understand most of what's going on up there, but they see a lot of stuff, and sometimes that helps the whole process. So save up front, the first thing you do. Before you move anything, before you do anything, save it. I would suggest a folder for it. So you got everything in that one folder and then move on from there. 